The jury was sent home for the night at 6.30 after deliberating for almost four hours. The jury didn't get the case until 2.45 this afternoon because most of the day had been taken up with closing arguments. The arguments were emotional. Because testimony conflicted on whether the woman was raped, both sides accused the other side's witnesses of lying. Defense attorney John Turner said the woman was lying. Attorney Mary Welcome called her a not very bright cheater, a bad girl with a bad reputation. Attorney Louis Polanski said there was no rape and the jury should free the defendants from what he called the misery cast upon them by their accuser. Prosecutor Jack Mallard told the jury if she wasn't raped, there's never been a rape in this county. He characterized Smith, Purdue, and Hardy as lower than a dog to gang rape a woman, then brag about it. The jury is supposed to consider the evidence and not how the attorneys interpret it. There are a lot of things for them to think about. For example, the woman went to the athletic dorm with her hair in curlers. The prosecution says that proves she didn't go there for sex. The jury also knows that the woman had a bad reputation among members of the football team, and the three players have excellent reputations on campus. Most of the Morris Brown community seems to be backing the athletes, but all that matters now is whose side the jury ends up on. Paul Miller, Action News Tonight.